Advancing age brings the risk of osteoporosis as bones weaken and become easier to break. Weight-bearing exercise, calcium-rich foods and vitamin D from sunshine help prevent the condition, things this class were aware of, though not necessarily as a result of advice from their GP. Did your doctor take you aside at one point and go, look, you know, this is something you need to think about? No. He's never, or they have never mentioned it, actually. Not particularly from the doctor, but I see an osteopath and he's made me very aware of it. I'm aware of it, but no, not from the doctor. No, only from a rheumatologist, actually. According to the National Osteoporosis Society, one in five women with the condition aren't diagnosed until they've already suffered three broken bones. We performed my back was bad. We did this um, lugging concrete around. Jean actually had five spinal fractures before her GP finally sent her for the scan that confirmed she had it. I was very angry with my doctor for missing it and I tried to take out a complaint but I didn't get anywhere. And I was angry because it's messed up my life. Um, there's a lot of things I can't do or I can't do so well and I'm in pain all the time and I'm on painkillers. So I could, have, could be having a better life. Identifying people at risk would also stop taxpayers' money being wasted. But there are over half a million fragility fractures occurring each year and the, the impact on those to the individual is clearly really important. Um, but also that, that has huge financial costs for the National Health Service and for social services in the management of those individuals. Many older people do take steps to ward off osteoporosis, but if those at risk were more swiftly identified by their GPs, many thousands of debilitating injuries could be prevented. Catherine Jones, 5 News.